So in this yellow package that was again insanely difficult to open, was just the lead free rosin core soldering wire I'll need to be able to solder things to the 20x4 character LCD display that I'll show you in just a moment. So in this little bag are the double pole double throw toggle switches that I'll be using to control the data bit lines and a few other things on the character LCD. Later on I'll explain how these double pole double throw switches are different from single pole double throw switches. Uh, as you can see there are six pins on the bottom. Next up is La Piece de Resistance, the character LCD itself, along with the I2C uh, controller that interfaces with the LCD itself. Now, that controller is basically used with a shift register to allow you to use the screen in 8-bit mode without taking up loads of pins on a microcontroller such as uh, an Uno or a Raspberry Pi. And this is the controller itself. And here you can see how it inserts into the pins on the display. Now, in this box are five spools of differently coloured wire that I'll use to connect things together either on the breadboard to the screen or connect the toggle switches to the screen and um, all I need to do to solder to them is just strip back the um, insulation on the wires. So this here is the second yellow parcel which was again completely unbelievably difficult to open as you can clearly see in the video. Finally, the main attraction, the Elegoo Electronics Fun Kit, upgraded. So here is just a little sheet showing you all of the components that are inside the box. And now I'll run you through all of the components. No I won't, it turns out that that section of the video took way too long to record so here I'll just show you a nice panoramic view of everything laid out on the table. You can find all of the components in the description. So this is just a quick update video to show what I've done so far in regards to um, not soldering anything. Uh, the reason why I've just got loose wires and no levers or buttons or anything is because um, if you take a look at the levers here, it's sort of difficult to use these. I mean, autofocus does exist, but like. There we go. So yeah, uh, these levers aren't exactly easy to um, connect to something like a breadboard. So um, what I've done is literally plug it into the USB port here, USB 2.0, nothing fancy. Uh, this is the power supply module that came with uh, this and I've just hooked up uh, very loosely wires to the pins I need just to get the screen to turn on and show the lines. Ow, it hurt. I pricked myself. And if I um, lower the ISO, you can see that the screen turns on. So that's basically just, um, not really an update, but more of my... Um, baby steps into getting this thing to work so uh yeah now you wouldn't believe this but after about four hours of work me and my friend jamie re really didn't accomplish much of anything we'd installed the leds and the uh toggle switches but we really hadn't gotten as much done as we thought we would so here we are um this is live we just filmed our reaction 
Um, so if you'd like to plug it in. And flick the switch. It's the only one we've, uh, we've wired up, but it does work. None of the rest of them work. I'm sure that part that I recorded there really didn't capture the essence of just how bad our solder joints were. Um, once we'd finished all of the soldering work, hooking up the rails to the, um, the leads on the switches, we looked at it and we thought, bloody hell, we've done an awful job. But then, now that I look back on it, I realised that it wasn't that bad for our first ever soldering job. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first video. Um, in the uh, character LCD project, uh, this is sort of um, sort of baby steps into the world of electronics, and um, I hope you come back for part two. In part two, me and uh, Jamie will be taking a look at um, wiring up the data bit lines on the character LCD, and then we'll be hooking up. Um, well, before that, we'll be hooking up the rest of the LEDs, and I'm sure between now and then, I'll think of a few more ideas that will make the uh, project much more appealing to. Um, for you to make a home if you really want to. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.